Keir Simmons from Lorient, and we're just here to find out a little bit more about uh, your stand this year and what you're up to. Okay, it's fantastic. Um, we're, we're using it as a platform to show the innovations um, this year. Specifically this, which is using um, a visual representation of sound leakage around a door, showing sound which normally you wouldn't be able to see. So we've used some special technology of taking some video footage during a sound test um, and actually showing that, for example here, three points of sound leakage, they're the hinges on the door. Ah. So we're being able to show that sound actually leaks through a door if you don't seal it properly. Um, a poorly sealed door and a beautifully sealed door. So it's just showing the people that, that that is the sound that's coming through. And if sound comes through, so will smoke, uh, which obviously is a life safety threat. And energy can be lost, so it's got that sort of triple whammy. And is this the first time you've used this sort of technology? Used this this, um, this medium at all for this uh, this kind of thing, and uh, it's going really well. It's stopping people in their tracks. So what else are you here to promote at the show? Right, okay, well we've got some materials development, some new products. We're launching some some glazing products, a new glazing product here. Um, we're also um, the first company to put in antibacterial properties into fire seals. So now we've got antibacterial additives in our fire seals that will stop MRSA and E. coli um, growing. So on door handles and door edges, it's a, it's, a, it's a prime zone for these things. So we've added that into the products now. And also we've, um, we're using um, animation for the first time and showing our products in situ. So rather than bring huge big door models and lots of big construction here, um, we thought we would get it animated in situ. So you can go inside the product, explode it, look at the mechanism, show exactly how it fits into the building, just by doing a fly through the building, really. And that's, that's really proven fascinating. And obviously that has environmental benefits for your stand. Usually, yeah. We haven't had to bring lorries up here. We've just come up and, and brought with us a few carry bags. So, you know, the, the important stuff is on the screens. Um, and all of our products are on show. Brilliant. So, yeah. And we've spotted you on Twitter. Yes. Uh, is that quite a new thing for it you guys? Is, yes, we wanted to get Twitter in place in time for the show and we haven't previously had an account and so we got that running um, two or three weeks ahead of it uh, and are finding our way through that but it's already proven really beneficial. Um, one or two people that came yesterday looked at it and instantly tw tweeted it that it was a highlight and it was really innovative. It's wonderful for us. It's, you know, that word and that message is getting out there so quickly. I wouldn't have done that if we didn't have uh, sort of a Twitter account in place. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, that's good. And are you using any other forms of digital media, YouTube, things like that? Uh, we plan now to have a YouTube channel after the show. We didn't want to put any of this up before EcoBuild, but after the show we'll have a YouTube channel um, and we have a presence on LinkedIn, um, but uh, we'll be developing it. Yeah. yeah, this has given us the taste for it, to, to do more. Super.